Hey everybody, my name is Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill. And this, I gotta tell you, one of my favorite parts of doing a brisket, very satisfying. Let's just keep the camera right there, man. It's all about that big hunk of meat. I'm really glad that it's getting easier and easier and easier to do all this smoked fun stuff in our own backyards. I gotta tell you that right now. But here's what I got in here. Call out to our, one of our good buddies, Cucamonga Cattle Company. I, I grabbed some of their barbecue rub because this one is not super duper heavy on paprika. And we're gonna make kind of a point about a smoke ring tonight. And I don't want the redness from the paprika messing with our experiment. Is that, is that, like, is that like a control group? Is that what that's called? I, who knows? <laughs> and I'm mixing it with a little bit of coffee rub. Yum, 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 coffee rub's fantastic. So let's go ahead and start that going here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do this for a fat cap side up. All right, there's a, there's an argument on that sometimes. People, some people are like, doesn't matter. Other people are like, you'll never do it any other way. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I fall in the uh, any way camp, really, because at the end of the day, you know, it's up, down, it really doesn't matter. But what you do want to do is you want to give it a bit of a trim, right? You want to, you know, they're, what are they charging now? Six, seven, eight bucks a pound for this stuff now? And they're still leaving them big chunks of fat on there, man. Drives me nuts. We got to start with the smoked brisket, all right? I mean, that's where the magic's got to happen first, is right here. So uh, uh, trim it off, uh, get a, I think this one's going to end up about 14, 15 pounds. You figure one and a half hours per pound at 225 degrees is going to give us about a 21 hour smoke, a 21 hour cook. All right, the smoke's a different thing here. A 21 hour cook with a couple of hour rest. If you want to talk about set it and forget it, this is a set and forget it. So Trish, come on around here so I can show them where the little wood guys go. Here we go. Right on the side, there's a system right here. All right, and now on the older Bradleys, this or some of the other models, uh, this one is on the outside. I prefer the enclosed model, I really do. Uh, just, I don't know, aesthetically, just right out of the gate, aesthetically is fantastic. So let me get all of these just like this. There we go. And we'll just feed these down. So remember, every three of these is an hour and it holds enough for i think it's nine hours and 40 minutes i love how it goes in that 20 minute increment that's how long it burns the sawdust for it gets the maximum amount of smoke out of there that you can because it's sawdust it's not a big thick piece of wood and then it extinguishes it and it starts again so like i said a lot of times at the rest point people will wrap their brisket we're not going to do that this time all right we, I, I, wanna, I, I, want, I want this to be one of these things where I just, it, it came out of the box. It almost looks intimidating. Like it's like, holy cow, this is like, but I wanna be able to like take it out of the box, shove a brisket in, do this thing where I can control the smoke and do one of these. And, and just like, if you can do that, man, holy cow. So let's, uh, let's take care of this. The, the, the whole silicone seal out of this world. Now towards the bottom of the unit there, as I'm putting this in, there's two trays, all right? One's a drip tray with water in it, and the other one's got the water to extinguish the pucks when they're done that 20 minutes worth of smoking. It's all an automatic system. It's fantastic, and that water also keeps moisture in the system. You've got the probe that's built right in here. And by the way, I just gotta say, I'm sorry. That's, I've never seen anything in a smoker outside of an eighth inch plug like you get in a set of headphones. And you know what? Uh, they work great, but you know, time, time takes care of them pretty quick. Sometimes, especially if you're like me, you don't put the cover on when you sit. That is, that's that's like, it's like like heavy duty sound equipment connectors. I love it. Uh, we're gonna put this right in the deepest part of the meat. Arr, get in there, you. All right, just like that. And we're gonna look for a temperature of about 205 degrees. That's gonna take a while. So let's show you how we turn this sucker on here. Let's. Oh, here. Let's, let's. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, there's a power button in the back. Click. There we go. Hello, how are you? It's got like, remember the very first iPods? Remember the little dial? Isn't that the best? All right, so I'm gonna hit that temperature button. I'm gonna change that to Celsius. There we go. Now, I'm gonna set this to 225 degrees. There we go, uh, 226. And I'm gonna push that, that's gonna set it. All right, that's gonna hold on to that temperature. So I'm gonna press that time button. This is gonna max out at 10 hours, all right? 
Uh, so what I'll probably do tonight before I go to bed is just reset the time. I know this is going to take about 20 to 21 hours. Uh, time is just a, a time in the smoker is kind of a guideline. I mean, you're running by temperature. That's it. That's the holy grail. Full stop. Where are you going? I'm not done with buttons. What? All right. So we're at 10 hours. We're going to hold that. And then we're going to max this out on the smoke. Well, by the way, see how it goes up in 20 minute increments? That's because the computer knows every 20 minutes it's going to extinguish that puck, start a new one, get a fresh batch of smoke. So I'm going to go nine hours and 40 minutes, which is the full ride. All right. Uh, and then I'm probably not going to have to refill it again. Uh, that'll, that should get me to my stall or pretty close to it. That'll be enough smoke. And then from there, the cool thing is it's electric. Thank you very much, right? It's like a hybrid system. So listen, best of both worlds. And by the way, the whole set it and forget it thing, this is done. This is absolutely done. I shouldn't have to think about this between now and when the thing is done, other than to just jack that time up and, and, and make sure that I've got the right amount of pucks in there. Did you join us yesterday? You remember what happened? Remember when we took that big 15 pound brisket and popped it in our Bradley here? Well, I'll tell you what, 21 hours later, that sucker was ready, man. Uh, so I did want to share with you what we did a little bit earlier today, because there is one step that I did take uh, on the way to our finished brisket, and that was after it was done, getting it ready to rest for that 90 minutes to four hours, okay? You don't want to just take it out and throw it on the counter like a turkey, right? the bird, not you, and just have it sit there because it's, it's not going to do what you want it to do. So uh, we're going to do a, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, hop a little bit into the past and, and say hi to past Mark, uh, who got this all set up for us. Okay. Thanks, future Mark. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we made it that far. Uh, man, it's really nice here in the past. It's very calm and cool and collected. You already know what happens. So, <laughs> but let's talk about our brisket. Hey, listen, uh, 21 hours ago, we put a brisket in this guy. I programmed it for nine hours and 40 minutes worth of smoke. In any other smoker, that would have been the time when I wrapped that sucker and put it back in for the rest of the cook. Even though it used smoke and wood for the rest of the cook, I wouldn't have wanted to get the smoke on the food. Well, with this, I didn't have to. So for the first time in a long time, I've done a brisket without the wrap. Pretty fun. All right, so let's have, oh, and also, so we set the temperature, I think about at 226. I mean, within two degrees, that sucker has been perfect all day. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, you're gonna notice, quite a bark on this and that's on purpose because today is national coffee day did you know that sweetie it's national coffee day it really is how cool is that now this temperature probe here was coming in at about 196 197 but i've always said the time is nothing more than a guide all right what you want to feel you want to feel like one of these probes go into it like it's butter and just because it's 194, 195 in there, over there, the temperature is going to be hotter. The bottom line is this right here. Oh, like it's not even there. Trish, have you ever done this? Have you, have you ever put the probe in? Try this. Oh, yeah. Just, just like let it fall in. And it just falls. Is that not great? It's like butter. It's very satisfying. It's very satisfying. So I know that's done. Okay. So here's what we are going to do. We're going to enter into our rest period now, which is going to bring us up to future mark there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this brisket out of my smoker. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, it's jiggly. Look at how jiggly it is. That is perfect. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit different. So throughout the process, about every hour after we uh, stop the smoke, I've been giving this a spray with uh, apple juice. All right, just to kind of keep that moisture in there. It's <laughs> just packing up. You don't want to get sprayed with apple juice? Come on, sweetie. There we go. So let's go ahead and get that really great. Come on in here close. I'll, I'll shoot it this way. This, this is just a, a nice, pretty picture. So let's get that nice and glistening and beautiful. And then I'm going to take that uh, uh, rub with the coffee rub, National Coffee Day, and go ahead and put that on there just a little bit extra because I really want that flavor to come bursting out. And that coffee rub is one of the reasons for such a dark bark. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to tuck and roll and tuck. There we go. You're pretty. You're pretty. And that's yeah. So that's one part of it. Now we're going to grab a towel. Make sure it's not a towel that could ever get you in trouble with the Mrs. or Mr. Take my word on that one. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. 
Do we just do one towel or should we do another? What? One? One towel's good? The, uh, the lady says one. And we're going to pull out one of our favorites over the years, our chill chest. There we go. You can use any cooler you want or that second towel, that ever elusive second towel. Let's get that in there, pop it up, and that's that. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Past Mark's a, a fun guy. I like him. So uh, that's what we did this afternoon, you guys. Uh, and it's it's sitting in our chill chest there, and it's ready to go, and it's fantastic. All right, here we go. We're going to bring out our towel we saw a little bit earlier. There we go. Here we are. And we're all got Perfect. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I guess the right side up. There we go. Jiggly and perfect. I love it. Oh, I can hear the dogs barking. They're upset they're not a part of this. So, let's flip this around. And let's go ahead grab our electric. I'm just going to kind of take... Oh, yeah. That first part off. Now, this... Look at the juice coming out of there. Isn't that beautiful? This is where we, I, I kind of like to start with burnt ends out of here. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get to that part here where that fat layer's in the middle. And this is always the money shots of the brisket. It's because uh, well, as soon as you get into there, that fat's rendered down and it's just a juicy, beautiful mess. So we're gonna pop this to the side. Whoop, one side. And we're gonna start slicing this. This is where everybody kind of picks it up and does one of those. A nice big squeeze where you see all that juice. And we've got the perfect bark. We've got nice tender brisket. In fact, let me get my glove off here. And we've got that incredible flavor. But what we don't have, because we were, oh, this is so, look at this. Holy cow. That melts in your mouth. That just dissolves. Oh, here, I'll feed you. I got the chef finger. Mm. Look at that. Holy cow. All right. Got it? Come on, quick. Isn't that good? Yeah, that's fantastic. Holy cow. Let me go ahead. What's that? Isn't that something? So, guys, this is just right out of the box. Brisk it in the smoker. Turn it on. Apply that smoke for about nine hours, and you're going to get these incredible, tender, beautiful results without the little ring that's formed around on the inside from the chemicals that are released from the wood when they burn. Remember, it's electric heat keeping this up, and there's a separate system that deals with that smoke. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, yeah. I know my buddy Gus is watching. Mm. He's like, save me some for tomorrow. I'm going to do that. Wow. So we're going to use... Mm. We're going to use this side of the brisket for a lot of our dishes, sandwiches, poutine, everything that we kind of make with our brisket. And then this is the part that when you have people over, we love to serve our family and friends. This is always everybody's favorite over here. Look at that. That is just tender, juicy, perfect, just beautiful. Oh, wow. Well, guys, mm. that was so worth it. That was so worth it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cheers to an easy brisket, a great dinner, a beautiful camera lady, and a fantastic audience, you guys. My name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's in the Grill. These are the best, largest, old-fashioned you've ever had. Give me a check. Right one more money shot. Let's give me one more money shot right there. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful.